G'day Interwebs, I'm B-Man, this is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, it's part 36 of the playthrough. Um, hit the subscribe button and um, there is a playlist on the channel if you want to catch up with the previous episodes in the playthrough. Um, we are going to capture Articuno. So I've come back to Celadon City so I can um, use the fortune teller to set every Pokemon I meet for the rest of the day to a timid nature so I can get a timid Articuno. Shall I foresee the nature of those fateful allies you have yet to meet? I'll charge you just 10,000 Poke Dollars. Wouldn't you like to know your fate? I'll say yes. Well then let me ask you a few questions. So she gives you five colours of flowers and she asks you to water one and thin another one. Um, and what you water corresponds to a nature that would increase the stat corresponding with that colour and what you thin corresponds to the nature that decreases the um, stat that is based on that colour. So I'm going to water pink and thin the red colour flowers to set to a timid nature. Which flower do you water? I water pink. Hey, I see, I see. Now among the five flowers I mentioned earlier, which one we thin out? I thin out red. Understood. Now I'll look into your future. Meeting, greeting, every time so fleeting. Hello, goodbye, every day beneath the sky. Nature, hate ya, wouldn't want to date ya. Abracadabra, nature is so fabois. Abra uses his sync, his synchronized ability. Fate is guiding your path. The encounters you will have this day are likely to have, yes, a timid nature. And now I'll take your payment. I wish you good fortune. Okay, so now, until midnight, all Pokemon I meet will have a timid nature. I've read that doesn't apply to Mew. If you get the Mew mystery gift, I guess. So now I go back to the Seafoam Islands and fight Articuno. And I'm going to put Pikachu first because he is my best Pokemon to fight Articuno, I think. Alright, and now I will fly to... Maximus suddenly started moving energetically. Okay, so we will fly to Fuchsia City. Now we have to surf all the way back to Seafoam Island. Once we get through Seafoam Island, we should just be able to drop through the holes to get back to Articuno. Okay, so we're back at Seafoam Islands. Now we just have to find Articuno again. Away the if 
that's why they go down the right side. the item that we failed to get in the last video. Super Repel. Other Kino. So it's guaranteed to be timid. We just need good stats on it. And we need to defeat it first. Kuno appeared. Uh, the Kuno stats rose. Go on, Maximus. I know you can do it. It's level 50. Maximus is Thunderbolt. So we have to completely defeat the other Kuno before we can catch it. Other Kuno used Ice Beam, but Maximus avoided the move. Maximus used Thunderbolt. Super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it. So now we're going to catching phase. Now's your chance, catch other Kuno. going all over the place. Another Kino. That was harder than I thought it would be. It's still not particularly hard. Oh, 
Alakuno's data will be added to the Pokedex. A legendary bird Pokemon, it freezes water that is contained in winter air and makes it snow. Islands. Okay, so now I check the Articuno. Okay, it's timid. That its stats are just okay. I don't like that its attack and its special attack are just okay. So I'm going to reset. I'm just going to use the, uh, no, I'll use the Pokeball. reflect. Maximus is Thunderbolt. Super effective. Alakuno use Mirror Coat. Ooh, Maximus toughed out so I wouldn't feel sad. Maximus is in a bit of a pinch, looks like it might cry. Maximus is Thunderbolt. Super effective.
It's just not running. Why does the bow fly in weird directions? Better than what I just had. Hit points and special defense are best, which is good because it's a bit of a special defense tank. A special attack is good. I'm gonna crunch the stats. Kuno, timid, its characteristic is that it's somewhat vain. Its level is 50, two points of 165. Whoops. It would be nice if its special attack was perfect, but whatever. 165, 91 attack, 116 defense, 113 special attack, 146 special defense, 116 speed. 165, 91, 116, 113, 146, 116. Alright, let's crunch that. And it's not going to work because some of the stats will be too high. Speed should be, yeah. So I'll lower each of the perfect stats by one, because for some reason they seem to be one higher than the stat calculator wants them to be. With special defense and hit points as well. I'll crunch it. It's telling me I've got really good stats for everything. I'm just going to keep this out of the Kino. So yay, that was me catching an Articuno, a timid Articuno. found that item as well, so I guess I've done everything in the Seafoam Islands. For 
some reason I had it in my head that that Magikarp was large and shiny. It's just large. Right? It's gone now. Catching it because it's huge. Oh, Maximus needs healing. Pikachu's tower is rotating. down here. And a pretty wing. Right, so now I just need to find my way out the other side of Seafoam Island. I walk down here, no. So I guess I go up. Drop down this hole. Have I been this way? Yep. No Zubat. I can't afford to be in this cave anymore. I must have thrown like 60 Ultra Balls in here. Can't believe how common jinxes are. the way out. There we go. Right here, no. 
items. Okay, so yeah, that was catching Articuno. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit subscribe, feel free to like, comment, share, all that stuff helps me out. Um, oh, if you check down in the description, my Twitch and my Twitter are down there. So I'll see you in the next video when we will cross the rest of the uh, ocean or sea or whatever it is and go to Cinnabar Island, which is the only town we haven't been to in the game. So yeah, I'll see you then.